Okay guys, settle down please. We're about to get started. Alright guys, so today we're going to be talking about an issue that all of you have probably heard over the past few years and you're probably so tired of it, which is going to college. But something probably nobody told you about and it's very important to know is how to pay for college. It's not something you're uh, always hear about but it's unfortunately something you're going to have to deal, uh, deal with when you graduate. So today, we're, we're going to be talking about that. But before we start, we're going to do a little activity. We're going to do a pre-assessment. There's no right or wrong answer. It's just to see what you guys know, what you guys need to know. It will maybe help you uh, develop some questions you guys may have regarding this topic. So please take a minute. Uh, you guys can do it in groups. You guys can do it individually. Keep the talking to a minimum. I'll give you guys about five minutes to go ahead and do the test. And uh, once we're ready to uh, proceed, please let me know. Uh, go ahead, you guys. All right, guys, let's get started again. Does everybody have it filled in? If not, you can just fill it in as we go if you want. But we're going to go ahead and keep going. Um, so I want to talk about real quick about uh, my job and the regulations from ASCA, from the American School Counselor Association. Those are kind of like the standards that we have to follow. My job as a counselor is to inform you about all this uh, information to make sure you guys know it like the back of your hand because it's really, really, really crucial to you for you to get in into uh, our college and be able to pay for it. So please ask me questions, uh, ask a really details, uh, the standards we have to go by, and if you have a question, I'll probably have the answer to it. Um, don't be afraid to ask for help. This is a common issue. If you have a question, any question, please feel free to ask. I'm in my office all the time. Uh, I will give you guys my email. You guys can email me or uh, my office hours, you guys should already know it. If not, uh, please come to me after the presentation. So, I wanna talk about the three different options. There are so many options to pay for college. One of them is having your parents uh, paying for it. If you get that, you're very lucky. Hug your parents, show them some love. Um, one of the options you have is FAFSA. And this is the federal student aid. It's, it's a government uh, issued money, I guess you would be able to say. You do have to, we'll talk about more of a in debt as we go, but FAFSA is one of them. The next one is scholarships. Uh, scholarships, it's a little different from uh, grants and financial aid. We'll go over it a little bit more, but that's the second option. And finally, the third option will be student loans. This is probably, I would say, the most common way of paying a college. Um, so yeah, I think you've all heard of people paying their student loans. Some of them uh, depends on the career you want to take. Some of them can be hundreds of thousands, or it can be a couple thousand dollars. It's all up to the thing to do. You can have a combination of both. You can receive financial aid and get a loan. You can receive a financial aid and get a scholarship. Just uh, it's your job to try to get as many as you can. Um, so FAFSA, FAFSA is a form that you submit every year, every academic year. So every year there is a due date. Uh, this one is June 30th for all you seniors that are wishing to go, uh, that are about to transition to college. It is on June 30th. So keep that in mind, deadlines are very, very important for you to get the money. Um, so that the, the application is to determine your eligibility of, to receive grants and even loans. Grants are pretty much money given to you by the government based on your needs. And to determine that you do have to receive, a, a, turn in your tax forms, turn in your parents' tax forms uh, for them to determine how much money you need. If your need is high, you will get uh, college paid for. Um, how information that is found on parents and or student tax, like I told you guys, uh, you will need to turn in bank statements if it is necessary at the time of your FAFSA application. Please take your time filling these out. It's very, very important that you guys 
actually do everything correctly and follow the directions as well. Again, deadlines are huge when uh, dealing with FAFSA, so please stay on top of them. Don't, don't lag on it. We'll go to the next one. Scholarships. Scholarships are free money for college. This is pretty much money given out by private organizations. Government sometimes has scholarships. Um, I guess you could say FAFSA is a type of scholarship. Um, it's a grant award towards students' higher education. Uh, and earning scholarships, there's literally scholarships for almost everything. Ethnicity, to height, to being left-handed, to being in extracurricular activities. There is so many scholarships. You guys can uh, you guys can even earn full ride based on uh, merit. Uh, sports, all of you that are in sports, uh, you I'm sure you guys know. You guys hear about getting people getting full rides to big colleges. Um, uh, scholarships also have deadlines. You also have to apply to them. As long as you qualify, every scholarship has different requirements you have to do. Some of them don't have any. Some of them you just apply and hopefully you get it. Bigger ones, you do have to turn in essays. You have to turn in applications and uh, alongside other um, requirements you may have to turn in. So please, please apply scholarships. Uh, there's a website, scholarships.com, that will take you to a, a page with a bunch of scholarships. Please. If you have any questions for that, please let me know. The third one is loans. There are private, personal, and loans directly from school, from the government. Um, a loan, regardless of what type, uh, is an amount of money borrowed that you have to pay back. You do have to pay back the, the loan. You have to um, eventually pay back throughout as many years. Depends on the loan, depends on your income. Depends on how you're going to pay it. Uh, applying for a loan is usually done through personal banks. Uh, both private and public universities have them because they're private, they're expensive, they're not going to have any help. They do have financial aid, they do have loans that you guys have available. So please, please, please look at loans as well if scholarships or financial aid is not an option. Uh, when it can really be done at any time during your college career. There are loans for incoming freshmen, for seniors in high school, excuse me, for uh, first time freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors. There are so many loans you guys, uh, you guys can uh, look into. So please don't hesitate to look for these as well. Um, reminders, deadlines. Please, 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 I cannot stress that enough. Go meet your deadlines. Don't lag. It can be the difference between you getting uh, your college paid for or having to pay for it yourself. So please don't worry about deadlines. Money should never, never, ever keep you from getting a higher education. There are so many options for you guys. Um, I'm here to help. Your teachers are here to help. So don't let that be an obstacle for you to get a, a degree. It'll be worth it on the long run, I promise. So if you guys ever have any questions, please come see me in my office. Please uh, look to your teachers, email me. Any questions you guys have, please, please don't be afraid. And if, I'll, say, I'll stick around um, right now if you guys have any questions. Please look back at your post uh, pre-assessment and take it again. See what you learned, see if you have any questions uh, from it. You guys can write them in the back or simply uh, come to me. So thank you guys for your time. Uh, I will be here during lunch or after school if you guys have any questions. Thank you guys. Have a good day.